Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give Colton here a haircut. I have been cutting everybody's hair, well, since Austin was a little boy, since he was first getting haircuts, uh, and I've got much better, but um, anyway, we're gonna kinda show you how I do at-home haircuts. I do everybody from Russell down to Colton, and it's definitely saved us a fortune in going to the barber shop. But um, anyway, so what I normally do is I take the clippers on just just the bare clippers up as high as you can go. Now, I don't know if you guys use this, but this is a, helps to do a nice fade. So you want to make sure that it's all the way up, the shortest setting on the clippers. And then you're going to start with it on the shortest setting. Make sure they try not to wiggle. There we go. And you just want to get around the ears. Just around the ears. Turn. Look down. And now they have a lot of peach fuzz on the back of their neck. So you don't want them to move. Tell them not to move. But then you want to just kind of go up and just make the bottom part of it even. Getting all that little peach fuzz off. Tickles. Yeah, I know it tickles. Keep your shoulders down, big guy. Okay, look up. And they're gonna have the peach fuzz on the side and everything, and then you're just gonna come up and around the ear. When you start cutting the rest of the hair, the ear, the ear will look right. It's just gonna look weird to begin with. All right. Now, you're gonna wanna pull the ear down and hold it with your hand. That way you don't cut the ear. Okay. Now here's when we start using these other settings. So now you're gonna to wanna to push it all the way down. All the way down, and you're gonna to wanna to just, just a small little bit, go back over it. Not going very far, because you're gonna to have to do this with each of the different clipper levels. And it, it doesn't take much to get through a small head like this. Now maybe on an adult, you might wanna go a little bit, cut a little bit more, a little bit faster, but on the younger people, when they don't have a real big head, you really don't want to. You don't want to do too much. You can always go back and cut more, but you can't glue any back onto their head. So the first couple times you want to do this, you do this. You want to go slow. You want to take your time, and then you want to see how, see how to do it on their particular head. Because I will say this: everybody's head is different. Even even with my three boys, I have to cut all three of their hair different. You just have to kind of go slow and see what works best. For each individual, for each individual boy. Now you're gonna to want to remember to push it back up each time you start over, and you put the one on there. You're gonna to want to have to push that back up, or you're gonna be looking weird. Okay. Now, now that I'm on the one, I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit faster. Honey, over here. And then you can really start cutting now because you're away from the ear, and you're still gonna to want to pull it down. You can go, there we go, and then turn, turn some more, look up. Okay, and then again, you're gonna wanna push it back down and then go back with the same, with the same size. Now, when you go push it back down, you're not looking to cut any major amount off. Really, you're just trying to cut enough off to where you can have a nice transition between the different sizes. So you want to cut more when it's up and then less when it's down. You don't want to cut a whole ton when it's down because like I said, here you're just looking for smooth transition. Just a nice smooth transition from the one size to the next. Look up. That's what we have in the back. There we go. Okay, now we'll go on and now make sure you push it back up. Always push it back up. Oh, Alright. Right. Now you don't have to start it on 
the plain razor. I mean, if you don't like a nice high and tight haircut, you can start it on a two or on a three and just go with the same principle, just with the longer hair. I personally like the shorter hair with my boys, but you don't have to do it that way. This, this exact same process will work if you started on a three or if you started on a four, because really you're just trying to, to get a nice smooth upward fade. Now the closer I get to a three, three I normally cut right here on his head. So I wanna start getting the two up a little bit higher. And your bigger transitions, there's a spot in the back of your head, boys heads, especially right here. Any transition you want it to be, there's two spots. If you feel the back of his head, the base of his skull right here, and then there's another spot right down here. This is where I normally do one. This is where I normally do two because it's a natural curve in the head and it just kind of hides a little bit better the, the different transition. So if you're not real great with the fading, the natural curve of the head right here will hide it. Will hide it much better than than if you try to make the fade somewhere else, like on top of that lump. Again, push it up. There we go. Now I like three for the top of his head because I don't have to worry about bed head. I don't have to worry about this portion, the back portion of his head getting being real crazy when he wakes up. You know, I don't, I don't like having to brush his hair, but I also want when he leaves the house for him to look, for him to look right. But I also don't want to have to worry about, you know, putting water on his hair or, you know, making sure that his hair is fixed right. I'd like for him just to, at this point, just to be able to wake up and go. So right around that, that cowlick right there, I want to get the three all the way around it. So that way, whenever he sleeps, he can sleep on that, sleep on that, and it won't mess up. All right, now we're gonna fade it one more time. Now, when you do the front, when you start getting towards the front with the threes, you're gonna want to take these bangs. You're gonna want to push them to the side so you don't accidentally cut the bangs, and then you're gonna want to fade up with the three. Those bangs will get in the way real quick, and then you'll be like, "Oh no, I cut the bangs!" When you get to the other side. So I always just, whatever bangs, you just push them off to the side. That way they don't get in the way with the clippers because you do want your bangs to stay a little bit longer with the boys. Well, I do anyway. So then face me. After the three, once I get to the top of the head, that's when I want them facing me. All right. Now I skipped some sizes through here. I went from a three to a five. I keep the three fade right around the crown of the head right here. So I'm gonna keep my three fade there. And then I'm gonna do a five because I like the top of the head to have longer hair. But I don't want the longer hair to be on the sides. And the three does a nice job of fading between the five without, without making it look weird. So I can use the three and the five next to each other. And as you can see, you can't even tell that, that I didn't use a four. And when you get into the longer ones, I don't use the lower setting. I only use the taller setting because we're getting into longer hair and we don't really need it. It's not as noticeable. And now I'm going from five to six and now I am not going to cut his bangs. I'm gonna use scissors for that. So I'm going to separate what I don't want to cut and then I'm just gonna go, go back with it. Separate what you don't wanna cut with your fingers, because if you don't, these clippers will grab more than what you want them to grab. And he'll have some real short hair up in the front. Okay, you can go sideways, but again, I'm telling you, they're gonna grab more than what you want them to grab. All right, there we go. Now I didn't pull any scissors out for today, my poor little hairy man. So I'm going to quickly, I'm gonna do it with the clippers. Now I, you can do it with clippers, you can do it with scissors, however you're comfortable. So what I do first 
is I'm going to pick how I want his, his bangs to look, what length I want them. So I'm going to have him stand still, get one of these clipper things, brush it out, and look up. And then you're just going to find your length, okay? Again, try not to move. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to pull them out like you see the people in the salons do. And then you're just going to make them that same length that they are when you pulled them up. And then to fade them to the corners, to the edges of the head right here, you're going to take it along the same side of the head and you're just going to pull it up this way and you're just going to cut the little tops off. And as you can see, it fades right around nicely. All right, and let's turn this way. Look out. It's easier with scissors. I highly suggest that if you're starting off and you're not used to using clippers or you don't feel real super comfortable with clippers just yet, that you start off maybe with some scissors doing this portion. But I mean, I, like I said, man, I've been doing this for so long that I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with doing it with the clippers. There we go. I think we're just about done, buddy. Let me make sure it's straight. Got a nice, he like, they all like the, the U look. So that's what we are doing here is trying to get that, that curved U look. Honey, gotta quit wiggling. I know that it's itchy. Mm -hmm. You're doing good though. Let me go down your shirt. I know. All right. Okay. Let me see. Oh, very good. So there we go. As you can see, you know, it may not be perfect, but the more you do it, the better it gets. And if you just remember to go slow when you first start off, just Ooh. take it nice and slow. And then when you're done, you can go back, look down for me, big guy. And you can see if you see any lines or any places where maybe the fade isn't real great, because the longer their hair is, the harder it's gonna be able to fade it on the initial cut. Cut it the same way and then come back and find those lines where maybe, you know, the fade wasn't as smooth as you were hoping and then go back and touch it up afterwards. But um, it's real simple. All you really, the, the biggest thing to remember it's just to, to move this thing back and forth between, between the clippers. Anyway, thanks for joining us in our little haircut, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, they need to do what? Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys later.